Okay guys, so in the last video we did, I had like three coffee cans full of uh, reject bullets that I needed to reclaim, so I got those melted down and poured into ingots, and so now we're going to, that was a week ago, so now we're going to uh, run some pencils on them to figure out roughly what the Brunel hardness is of these things. I'm kind of hoping it's somewhere around a uh, wheel weight alloy. There was everything from really soft wad cutters to some uh, higher end high velocity rifle rounds that were, you know, about 18 Brunel. So I'm hoping for 10 to 12, somewhere in there. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So according to my chart here, which we will put up a, a graphic in this video, I'm going to start with uh, a 3B pencil, which would be 10 Brunel. So we'll see if that gives us any mark and I don't know how well this will show up you kind of want to get a sharp point on the pencil and then what I do is I just take a little piece of sandpaper and grind this down to where you have a nice flat you know 90 degree edge it'll make a nice cut in the lid okay so a 3B just just writes on the lid, so we're we're harder than ten Brunel. So next pencil up from there is a two B. That would give us anywhere from a eleven to twelve Brunel range scrap wheel weight, something like that. So I've already got a, an edge cut on this pencil. Oh yeah, that definitely scribes. You can feel it with your fingernail. So that's exactly what I was hoping for, um, 11 to 12 Brunel. So we got 95 pounds of pretty much wheel weight equivalent uh, ingots. So if you guys can't afford or don't have a, a lead hardness tester, they can get kind of pricey and some of them are kind of even tricky to use. Um, 10 to 12 dollars worth of art pencils off of Amazon or Walmart um, gives you a real good you know, cheap way of figuring out the Brunel hardness of your alloy. So, there you go. Someone asked for it. I've already seen a couple videos prior to this one on using the pencils with the lead, but uh, there's my take on it.